Taking cues from her mentor, Sheriff Grayson, Caitlin is in no way blindly allegiant to authority, uh, not at the expense of equity, fairness, and protection uh, from harm. Caitlin will even wander into the space of subversion like Sheriff Grayson for the greater good. Why would Caitlin be willing to do that? Well, as we've, we have found with all of our characters so far, Caitlin's highest moral priority is innocence, purity, and sanctity. Uh, we know this for sure when she learns that Vi has been imprisoned by Marcus without due process. Vi has been entombed alive in the bowels of Stillwater. As heirs of Grayson and Vander, Caitlin and Vi strike up their own alliance to try to right the wrongs in their world. The relationship tension between Caitlin and Vi is rich, and there's a lot there to unpack. Um, there's, of course, the sexual attraction that we can see. There's mutual admiration for one another's uh, moral codes and also for being uh, fighters. Caitlin's privilege is something, though, that Vi throws in her face a lot. Um, that nickname Vi has for Caitlin, Cupcake, is being at once affectionate but also distancing because it kind of implies that Caitlin is too soft, too removed uh, from the realities that Vi, uh, the realities of Vi lives being a resident of Zahn and that uh, Caitlin could never be really a part of that. 